So in this brief lecture, I just want to go over a distinction between random sampling and random assignment. So these two design elements uh, from research are sometimes confused because they both start with the word random and they both involve uh, a random process. Random sampling is the process of selecting participants or cases for observation or study uh, in a way that gives every case an equal chance of being included because they are selected at random. And what that does is, uh, within, within sampling errors, so, so it's not a perfect process, and actually there are various different types of random sampling, but for now we'll just talk about it as if there's only one type and that's simple random sampling. Um, it gives every case an equal chance of being included and what that does is it makes it so that the sample is likely to be representative within sampling error. There may be some, some deviation from the sample characteristics um, as compared to the population characteristics. But if the sample itself is representative, it makes it more likely that the results will be generalizable back to the population. So random sampling is a method for selecting participants for a study or cases for observation in a way that makes it likely that the sample is representative, which makes it likely that we can generalize the results back to the population. Now, random sampling could potentially be used in any type of study design, but you're most likely going to encounter it in survey research or polling research. Experimental research is less likely to use random sampling just because of the feasibility of it. Uh, if you select someone at random, let's say, and tell them that they must show up and participate in an experiment, the likelihood of them showing up and doing so is, is quite low. So you would get a huge non-response rate, which would mess up your, your random sample and essentially make it not a truly random sample. Uh, in any case, random sampling is a design element uh, that involves selecting participants at random to make a sample that is reasonably representative of the population, which in turn will allow you to generalize your results back to the population, which is in essence what we're trying to do when we conduct uh, inferential statistics. On the other hand, random assignment to conditions is a process of assigning participants to conditions in an experiment. So let's say an experiment has two or more levels and we want to make sure that the people assigned to those levels are reasonably similar or probabilistically similar. We don't want to let people choose which condition they're in because the people who choose condition A versus condition B may be different from the get-go and that might be the thing that results in the difference in the dependent variable that we detect. So we'll use random assignment to conditions to control for participant related variables and self-selection and rule out self-selection. Uh, so for example, to go to our study guide example, people with higher GPAs versus lower GPAs, we'd want them to more or less be equal in each group. So by randomly assigning people to conditions, we would assume that the study guide group would have a similar GPA on average than the control group. Uh, if we allowed self-selection, who knows what happened one group, uh, probably everybody would pick the study guide group, but if we allowed self-selection based on, let's say, who was showing up to class, the higher GPA people might all wind up in the study guide group and the lower GPA people might all wind up in the control group and we might find a difference but that difference would be confounded with their with their probably their GPA and their study habits and things like that so randomly assigning participants to conditions uh, is sometimes referred to as the great equalizer because it makes the groups probabilistically similar what that means is they're more likely to be similar it doesn't guarantee that they're going to be absolutely equal because it's a random process. But it's a process that allows us to rule out certain extraneous variables as alternative explanations if we do find an effect of our independent variable 
on the dependent variable. So we got random assignment to conditions is a design element that allows us to make the groups probabilistically similar and rule out participant related variables as potential confounds or alternative explanations for any effects we might find of our independent variable on our dependent variable. So random assignment is strictly used in experiments whereas random sampling uh, can be used in a variety of study designs but it's most likely to be used in survey research and polling research.